just give me one second. We are going to do a really quick um, lunchtime um, sign and uh, or a quick lunchtime project. And when I say really quick, I mean like really quick. This is a project that I was working on last night during my live and um, I let my paste dry on here a little bit too long and um, so it peeled up on my transfer. So I washed my sign and we are going to redo it. And this time we're gonna use two different colors. But I just wanna share this really quick. If you are um, joining me for this quick 10 minute project, and I mean literally, it's, it's probably gonna be less than 10 minutes. Um, say hi, let me know you're here, let me know you're watching. And um, I would love it if you would share. And I love it because when I say, um, where is this going? Oh, um, when I say a quick project, I mean it literally is like a super quick project. Anybody who's on my live with me yesterday, I'm using my husband's like Galaxy Tab. And this thing just does not. It's not work. I try to get it to work. And it doesn't. Maybe I should like film my lives on. On this thing and then. Um, And then, uh, use my phone, maybe then it will work. I have no idea where I just shared this. So let's see if this will just let me go through here and you see now it's doing something completely different. Just a minute ago it was making it go like group by group by group and now it's like a whole list. One of these days I'll figure out how to uh, I'll figure out how to uh, use electronics. Alright just give me two seconds so I can um, Share this in a couple of places and then we'll get started. Um, one of the awesome things that I like about Chocotour is um, we have a sign for everything. Um, have you ever like gotten to work and realized, oh, today so-and-so is going away or so-and-so is having a baby shower or I don't know, but we've got you covered, you know. Somebody's moving into a new house and you need a housewarming gift, got you covered. Somebody's having a new baby and you need a quick baby shower gift, got you covered. Uh, Christmas party, even white elephant, got you covered. And it's cool because we can reuse our transfers like 12 times before they start to lose their sticky. So, um, so you can make like a ton of a... Uh, okay, I'm almost done, promise. And then I'm going to show you this super fast, super quick. Um, project and I did it last night on my live and it just it was a mess. Um, one of my friends, when she goes live, she goes live for like hours at a time. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to try that. I'm going to see how that works out for me. I was so unorganized last night that it was just, it was a hot mess. And then my phone died like right in the middle of it. And I'm just still going along, happy as a lark with a dead phone and hot mess projects. Okay, I'm gonna just share this in just one more place and then, um, and then we will be good to go. Find my 
my group? Where's my group? Where is my boo group? Singing is not my forte. Okay, I can't find it, so. Oh well. If you can see me, um, I don't know if I can see you guys on here or not. If I can, say hi, and I will try to say hi back. Hi, Caitlin. It's hard to hear me. Can you? Is it because my washing machine is running? Or am I just not being loud enough? Do I need to be louder, or is it my washing machine? Let me go shut my laundry room door. Give me two seconds. It's probably my washing machine. Okay. All right. Any better? Can you hear me any better? Okay. So what I'm going to do, um, I will just talk a little bit loud. Um, let me find my transfer. I know it's really here. Okay, this is the transfer that I'm doing, and um, this is actually one that's going to be going up on my wall. So, um, I'm going to take care as I do it. This is a transfer that I've used multiple times before. It's together is our favorite place to be. I love this transfer. It's very simple, but it's also very elegant. Um, and you can see this one's kind of dirty. Um, it's not dirty, well, it's, it's stained because I've used it multiple times already. And um, I actually cut these corners off because the uh, uh, when I used it the first time, I was putting it on a surface and it wouldn't quite fit. So I cut my corners off, but normally it's a full rectangle. But our transfers, we can reuse them like 10 times before they start to lose their sticky. So uh, that's why it looks like this. It's just stained. It's not going to diminish um, being able to use the transfer at all. So I'm gonna peel it off and it's sticky. And I save the backing because we do wash them when we're done so we can reuse them. And after I wash them, I just stick them back on here. So I save this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick it on my shirt to fuzz it. Um, these are really sticky. And I'm using a chop couture surface so I don't really need to fuzz my transfer. But if I was going to um, put it on here, I'm actually going to be doing, um, when I go live tonight, this is, what I, this is one of my surfaces I'm gonna be doing. But if I was going to be using like this surface, if I put my transfer on here and it wasn't fuzzed at all because this is just a regular surface, sometimes the sticky residue on the back of your transfer can get stuck on here, and um, and that can ruin your um, that can ruin your transfer, and then it can also like stain your surface. So that's why I fuzz it. I just make it a habit to fuzz it. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm using one of our box frames. This is a chalk couture box frame. And it's really cool because you can um, you can craft on the back side of it and you can craft on the front side of it. And what I do with all of my frames, every single last one of them that I have like this, I am because I am lazy like that, I will do a regular um, design on the front. I'm just putting this down and then I'm gonna go back through. There's a lot of wrinkles in here, so I'm gonna pick it back up and just relay it back down because I don't want to have, or I don't want bubbles, not wrinkles, but there's like bubbles. If there's bubbles underneath the um, the uh, the green spot, it's not gonna really matter. You just don't want, you don't want any bubbles under your silk screen areas. So here it is, it's just laying on there, nothing fancy, just smushed it down. But what I do is, let me see if I have one here that I haven't done. I, um, I put a regular design on the front of it so it hangs on my wall. I used a 3M sticky um, tape to hang these up because I don't like to put holes in my walls. But I will have like an everyday design. And then on the back side, ta-da, I'll do a Christmas design. So all I have to do is take my sticky and put it on the other side and then slot this right back on the wall. And now my house is decorated for Christmas. As soon as Christmas is over and it's time to go back to regular everyday decor, pull it off, put my sticky on this side, Pop it back on the wall. Voila! Actually, I thought it was pretty genius. I'm pretty sure I didn't come up with that idea, but uh, yay for the lazy mom. Okay, so I have my transfer. It's just stuck on my surface. As you can see, I just smushed it on there. And then um, when I did it last night, I used like blue ombre to do it, and um, it started to dry out because I was, I was being too chatty. 
So today I'm going to do um, peacock blue and elephant gray. And I am going to ombre these two together. So I'm just going to um, grab two squeegees. And this is the normal size squeegee. And what I do is I, um, I take my squeegees and I cut them down to like more manageable sizes. You know, if I'm doing a big project, the squeegee will work perfectly. But um, sometimes if you're doing like, if I wanted to do just this color right here, it would be so much easier to do just like this small, tiny section with the little squeegee instead of the big giant one. So if you ever go onto the website and you're looking for like small squeegees, like if you want an itty bitty squeegee like this, um, all it is is a big squeegee like this cut down. And these, um, they're just silicone. See, they're really like bendy silicone things. So um, these last forever. But I have a whole bunch of them because um, usually when I do like big lives and I use lots of colors, I just like to have this squeegee for every color that I'm using so I don't have to stop and watch. Okay, so literally like 10 minutes. If I wasn't um, live and chatting with you guys, I'd already be done with this. So I have my surface and I just took my transfer off my back paper and I stuck it on here and I smoothed it down because I don't want any air bubbles underneath um, the silk screen area because if you get air bubbles in there it will mess up your design and uh, I speak from experience um, last night I tried to do my paper towel holder and I did it in like the buffalo plaid and it had air bubbles underneath it and it was awful so my uh, I've already washed it clean so I'm gonna I'm going to do tape two on that tonight okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start my blue is almost out and it's Kind of dry so I'm probably going to I'm gonna get it ready to go but I'm gonna do um, I'll do my gray first and what I'm doing is you don't want to let your paste dry on your transfer because if it dries when you pull your transfer up it's gonna pull your paste up with it so um, so I'm gonna do my gray first because my gray is a little bit wetter right now than my blue and you want your chalk paste to be like a yogurt consistency, like even my gray is a little bit dry. Um, so what I do is I just add a little bit of water to it and mix it up. But um, I didn't um, check. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it on my squeegee and I'm just going to take it. And I'm just going to color over this because what I'm going to do is I'm going to ombre this. So um, I'm just going to start with my gray here in the center. Then I'm gonna work kind of quick so it doesn't dry because I know my blue on top um, is a little bit dry. And if you put too much on, you just use your squeegee and uh, just scrape up the excess. And you can use whatever colors you want. So I'm just picking gray and blue because these are colors that I have in my house and colors that I like. So you can see how I just stuck it on there. All right, so now I'm gonna take my blue and I am going to cover the rest of my transfer. Hopefully yeah, this color is almost out too. I need to add this to my list of uh, paste to get. So I'm just gonna move it over here and I might actually like peel the top part of this off so that it doesn't start to dry on me. because this is dry, it's gonna, paste dries really fast. Like, really fast. Like, I can tell this is already starting to dry. So what I'm gonna do is, I have my blue, as you can see how it's already on the top, and I'm gonna ombre this, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my finger, I'm just gonna get a little bit wet, and then I'm just gonna um, do a circular motion over the paste. And this is just so it kind of blends in the colors. And then I'm gonna go ahead and peel this top part off only because it's starting to dry. And I want this to actually like look good because I don't really wanna have to redo it again. So I'm just gonna peel this top part off. But 
that I've done just a little bit just so it doesn't completely like peel off. And then I'm gonna go back through really quick and now I'm gonna do my bottom part. And I'm just working fast because my gray is like already drying. And I can probably like get a wet paper towel, which I think that's what I'll do. I'll get a wet paper towel to just put over the top of this just to uh, just so I can pull it off without it like completely drying. I'm going to get my gray. So there's a little section right there that I missed. And I'm just going to get my finger, a little bit of spit. If it wasn't so dry in here, this really wouldn't matter. And this is a sign for me, which is why I'm using my own slobber. If this was something that was going to be um, sold, I would, uh, I would most definitely use a wet paper towel. So now I'm just going to pull my transfer up, stick it over here so I can wash it. And then um, I'm going to show it to you. See? Isn't that cute? And I just picked these colors because these are colors that I like to use. But I mean, you can, any color that you have in your house. Um, and ombre is like my favorite thing to do right now. So that's why I've been doing ombre. And um, once this dries, which it's going to dry extremely quick because it's really hot where I am today. I'm in... Um, Cheyenne, Wyoming. We're a military family and that's what we're currently calling home. It's really dry here, like no humidity. Um, the elevation is really high, so everything here dries like super fast. Um, usually I use ink instead of paste. Um, I don't know. Anything that you can ink on, you can paste on. So um, usually if, if I can, I use paste because paste dry or ink dries a little bit slower. Um, but see, you can see it. I mean, it's like, see, I'm rubbing it. It's already dry and it's, it's not going to come off. But literally that's a quick, super quick, like 10 minute design. So if I had somewhere where I needed to be and I needed a, a gift really quick, um, and I was able to come home or this is something you could even do in your conference room at work. That's how fast this is. And then ta-da, I have a housewarming gift for somebody. Or a, you know, a wedding gift or an engagement gift or a just because gift. So, um, but thank you guys for joining me. Um, if you have any questions, my device, I can't see any comments. The last comment I can see is from Caitlin. And maybe that's the only one that's there. But if you guys have any questions, um, send me a friend request or a PM or join my group or just come hang out. Um, it's really cool. So... Join me tonight. Tonight I will be going live doing this surface. And then um, I'm doing a farm transfer on this. And then I also have this burlap charger that I got. Um, I actually got this like a while ago when I was gonna do a vinyl design on it. And then for whatever reason I didn't. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna chalk on this. So tonight I'm going to do this one and I'm going to be doing this one and then I'm going to be doing um, what else do we have over here? I'm going to be doing um, this PS I Love You and the You Are Loved sign. I'm going to be doing all four of these tonight when I go live. So if you would be so kind as to join me tonight. I would love to have you. And then um, just wanted to show you really quick a couple of the other designs that I did. This was my uh, my sugar skull that I did. How freaking cool is this? You know, this transfer, it comes in four different layers. So every color is its own layer. So you put a, la a transfer down, you do that color, and then you peel it off. And then uh, you lay your next transfer down and there's like registration marks on the transfers. So it's really easy to line. I swear I have the loudest appliances. That's my ice machine. And I don't know if it could possibly be any louder, but um, 
but each each color has its own layer, so you can do this super fun. And I mean, how cute would this be on a t-shirt? Like a Halloween t-shirt or like a fall t-shirt. And then um, in true fashion, Christmas design on the back. Woo so if you guys would join me tonight, um, I would love to see you. Um, if you want to browse through um, any of the designs that we have, I have most of the transfers that we have available. So if there's anything that you would like to see specifically done live, um, just send me a message or comment and then um, I'll do that project live for you. Or if there's something that you just got to have and you really want it but you don't want to do it yourself, um, just send me a message and we will do your project live. So you can see it from start to finish and how it's done. You can pick your colors, you can pick your surface, you can do all that fun stuff. So um, thank you for joining me for this quick um, lunchtime session and I will see you guys later tonight. Thank you. Hi, Christine. Okay, how do I, I don't even know how to turn the dang thing off. Sorry guys, if you're still there like watching, I'm like trying to turn this off and uh, can't figure out how to do it. <laughs>